Hello everybody, I hope y'all are doing well. I wanted to start off uh, by explaining my reasoning for disabling the comments. Every time I make a video, no matter what I say, there are people that try to complicate the message uh, they try to complicate the gospel by adding to it and twist what I say. So I thought that I needed to put a stop to it, and the best way to do that was to disable the comments altogether, and I hate to have to do it, but it had to be done. And I wanted to explain that so that everybody will understand the reason why I had to do it, my reasoning behind it. Um, but I want to open up with a passage of scripture here in 2 Corinthians chapter 11. 2 Corinthians chapter 11, starting in verse 3. But I fear lest by any means as the serpent beguiled Eve through his subtlety, so your mind should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. For if he that cometh preacheth another Jesus whom we have not preached, or if ye receive another spirit which ye have not received, or another gospel which ye have not accepted, ye might well bear with him. Now, I wanted to focus on the simplicity that is in Christ. The gospel is simple. Salvation is simple. But so many people out there that profess in Jesus add to it. They have to add, whether it's repenting of sins or turning over a new leaf or some type of works, they got to add their own works into the mix. And the reason why they do that is because they're not trusting Christ alone. And I don't care how many times that they say they are, they're not. And the very fact that they have to add something to it whether, like I said, whether it's repenting of sins or turning over a new leaf or water baptism, they have to add something to it. They have to add all of these steps to it. Salvation is not a 12-step program. Salvation is not a process. Salvation happens the instant you believe the gospel, the instant you receive the gospel because believing is receiving. The gospel is the good news, glad tidings, and the gospel is to be kept simple. But so many people out there that aren't trusting Christ alone, they've got to add something in there. That's why it's in. That's that's why I disable the comments because I got tired of people coming on my channel. And adding to the message, adding to the gospel. And that's exactly what they were doing. Saying, well, you know, if you're if your actions don't line up, you know, if you're if you're not if you're still sinning and you're not if you're still committing certain sins and you're not really saved. As one person put it. And that tells me if someone does that, well then they don't believe the gospel. And they're corrupting the minds uh, and confusing people, babes in Christ that come on vi the videos that need to hear what's being said, that wants to hear what's the message and lost people. They, they're, they're corrupting their minds from the simplicity that's in Christ by adding to the message, I gotta keep adding, keep adding something else to Christ, to His finished work. God doesn't need your help. God doesn't need our help. He sent His Son to pay for the sins of the whole world. And that He died for our sins and that He was buried and rose again the third day according to the Scriptures as it says in 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verses 1 through 4. Makes that so clear. 
but yet you can read it to people and explain it to you're blue in the face and they will outright reject the message because they've either gone the religious way and added works into the mix as in Galatians chapter 3 the Apostle Paul said to the Galatians O foolish Galatians who had bewitched you that you should not obey the truth to, you know or have you received you the Spirit by the works of the law or the hearing of faith? We receive the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, by the hearing of faith, not by the works of the law, for by the deeds of the law shall no flesh be justified. It is evident that by the law is the knowledge of sin. The purpose of the law was to show us that we are a sinner in need of a Savior. It wasn't so that we could try our best to keep it. That's not it at all. The law was a schoolmaster. It's to show us that we're guilty, that we're in, that we are a sinner in need of a savior. As Romans three twenty three says, "For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God." And the message is very simple, and it's to be kept that way. The simplicity in Christ is to be kept simple. People need to keep their stinking hands off of it. They need to keep their hands off of it and quit adding to it, quit adding to the gospel, and putting their own two cents on it, and adding to the message, and keep it as it sa as it is supposed to be. You know, I don't. You know, I don't understand it other than the simple fact that they just don't believe. They want to profess in Jesus, but yet they want to they want to complicate the gospel message and corrupt people's minds from the simplicity that's in Christ. And I have a problem with that. And as in Second Corinthians chapter eleven, verse four it says, "For if he that cometh preaches another Jesus, and that's who what it is, they're preaching another Jesus." another gospel, and another spirit that cannot save. The Apostle Paul said in Galatians chapter 1, verses 8 and 9, he said it twice, two times, two different times. He said, if they preach another gospel, let them be accursed. Twice, two different times he said that, and that means he meant business. But yet you have so many people that doesn't matter what you say, doesn't matter what's being said in the message, they get, they're going to keep complicating it. They're going to complicate it, add to it, pile on top of it, put their own put their own works into the mix. And the reason they're doing it is because they're trusting in their self and they're not trusting in Christ alone. They're not trusting in His finished work. I think people need to keep their stinking hands off of the gospel and leave it alone the reason a lot of people don't is because they're self-righteous they're full of pride and they're in arrogance and trusting in their own self and they're not going to come on this channel and do that any longer because i put a stop to it because they're not going to stand in god's way of people being saved and coming to the knowledge of the truth. I hated to have to do it, but it's something that had to be done. And I thought it was best for the best that I just disable the comments altogether. That way I don't have to deal with people complicating it because it's what they were doing. I could look at the comments, I can read, I have an intelligence, I'm not stupid and I have discernment to see what they were saying and I'm not going to stand for it I'm not I'm not going to stand for people corrupting the minds of trying to corrupt and confuse babes in Christ and trying to remove them from the simplicity that's in Christ that is a big problem and I'm not going to stand for it I'm not going to stand for it. Not any longer, I'm not. You know. But the gospel is simple. The gospel is, is to be kept simple. It's not to be added to. 
people just need to keep their stinking hands off of it, like I said, and and they do, and they won't. And the reason they have to add to it and complicate it is because they just don't believe. That's why. That just shows when you complicate it and you want to, you have to add works to it. When the when when the Bible is clear that we're not saved by works, we're not kept saved by works, and it doesn't prove we're saved. Romans four five, but to him that worketh not, but believeth on him that justifieth the ungodly, his faith is counted for righteousness. I mean, really, that's right in front of your face. I mean, that's clear. That's that should be right under your nose. But yet, for some reason, people just don't want to believe it. They rather go around and add to it and it's because you know all they want to do is preach hellfire and brimstone but yet they don't want to tell people how to be saved because they don't even know the gospel themselves and it's because they're blind to it that's why satan has blinded the minds of them that believe not the bible says but the gospel is to be kept simple and on this channel, it's going to be kept simple. Nobody's going to come in and, 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 and try to corrupt it and try to complicate it. That's done. That's over with. Ain't happening anymore because I've had enough of it. But those that are doing it, they're preaching another Jesus and another spirit. It's not the Holy Spirit. and It's another gospel that cannot save. If you add one work of your, your own self, your one work to the gospel, it cancels it out. It cancels grace out. It can't be by grace and by works. It's either one or the other. And a lot of people want to mix law in with grace. And you cannot do it. It's like trying to mix oil with water. They're both, they're, it's not going to work. It won't work, and you can't make it work. It's like trying to fit a square peg into a round hole. You can try to fit it into there all you want to, but it's not going to work. You're not going to be able to fit it in there. Doesn't matter how much you try to make it fit, it's not going to fit. So I think people need to leave their, their, their stinking hands off the gospel and quit adding to it. Quit making it difficult for people to be saved. Those that want to do that, they want to be the gatekeepers of heaven, and they're not going to heaven anyway because they don't, they haven't believed the gospel. But to get yet, they want to keep people out and keep people from coming to the knowledge of the truth. They don't like the fact that people are just justified by faith by simply believing, and then that's it, and they and they don't have to do anything else. It's because God's not holding our sins against us. He has paid for the sins of the world, past, present, and future. As he in Hebrews chapter ten, verse fourteen says, For by one offering he hath perfected them forever that are sanctified. And sorry if I'm looking over here my cats. She's up on the on the microwave and I'm trying to keep her from getting into stuff, so I apologize. But I think people need to keep their stinking hands off of off of the gospel message, off of the salvation message, keep it simple. But you got a lot of self-righteous people that are just, when it comes right down to it, when the rubber meets the road, they're just trusting in themselves. They don't want to come right out and admit it. They don't have to come right out and admit it, I can tell. I, you can tell about what they're trusting in by what they say. If they say it's Christ plus, sin repentance, turning from sin, or turning over a new leaf, or whatever the case may be. Fill in the blank. Whatever it is they want to add to it, well, then they're adding something else to Christ. For a righteousness come by the law, and Christ is dead in vain. So if we could be made righteous by keeping the law, well, then Christ died for nothing. That's why Christ died, because he knew we were sinners in need of a Savior, and we couldn't stop sinning, and we're, and we're never going to stop sinning. Now, there's nothing wrong with being moral. Don't misunderstand me. Don't misconstrue what I'm saying. There's nothing wrong with being moral at all. But it doesn't make us right with God because we 
change our mind about some sins in our life. We're made right with God by believing the gospel. And the gospel is the death, burial, and resurrection of Christ, and anything other that is not a gospel at all. And I think it should be kept simple. And on this channel, it's going to be kept simple. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. No compromising on it. Plain, pure, and simple. But you can tell what people are trusting in by what they, by what they say. You can tell. Because they feel the need to add to the gospel. They feel like, well, Christ, what, what they're saying is they're spitting on the cross of Christ and saying, well, what Christ did, you know, well, Jesus, what you did wasn't good enough. I got to add something to it. I got to add my works in there. I got to put some, add something to the mix. And it's not right. It, it, that's not what God's word says. That's not how God laid out the plan of salvation. Man's always got to complicate it. They've always got to add something to it in some way, shape, or form. But the gospel's to be kept simple, and the simplicity that's in Christ is how simple that it is to be saved, how simple the gospel message is, and people need to keep it simple and quit adding to it. But I hope this has been a blessing, and until next time, God bless, and Merry Christmas if you celebrate, and I wish you all a Happy New Year. Until next time, God bless, and take care.